No, this is, this is a different. This is a different thing. One. Oh, okay. It's also good. Yes. Oh yeah. Corn on the cob. Let's wreck this shit. What? <laughs> I don't know if you ever Remember, you ever browse YTM and D. Yeah. yeah. Corn on the cob. Oh yeah. Corn yeah, yeah, on yeah. the kebab. Blow them up! Blow them up quickly! We're getting a little close to those scanners. And then we just loop that. Because why TMD was all loops. You're the man now, dog! God, that is ancient internet right it now. It is. That is it like is permacrust really, internet. It really is. Yeah, but that was the thing, man. That was like a subculture. That was a culture that was brewing that, like, the mainstream world had no fucking idea of. That was why, why TM and D was huge. That was, yeah. that was a big-ass fucking thing when I was in high school. Yeah. The, the, shit, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. And, like, early in my uh, uh, college years, I guess, too. Yeah. And then YouTube came along, and I was like, fuck it. <laughs> nothing, what do we need this for? Nothing matters. Yeah. People needed their, uh, their dose of, you know, hot, spicy, fresh memes. And gosh darn, white TMD was the place to get him. What's, uh, what's, what's Peril Rules again? Oh, no. oh, 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 am I getting game over over this? Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, what's Barrel Roll? It's, uh, fuck. Those walker lasers are super strong, dude. They just nailed me right off the bat. Oh, yeah. drink. Drink. Brand. Mm. But you're in it right now. Oh. Probably, probably could have paused to drink there. <laughs> Left. Oh, there we go. You got it. You got it. Uh, barrel roll is E, by the way. I hit E and it didn't do anything. Is it E plus something maybe? It's E, but you have to like turn the camera. Like you have to, you have to rotate. It'll rotate. Like you, from your perspective, you won't move, but the world will. Huh. It's a weird kind of barrel. Well, it's not like a Star Fox. Maybe, I, maybe I'll try that again. Yeah, when you're not tying something up. A little neat bow. The modeling on it's the so convenient how everything stops being able to shoot you while you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh that's lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the some game design things are like, you know, let's just make the player able to do this. And sometimes that's good. But uh I don't know. I, I think of often like the difference between a first person shooter on console versus on keyboard and mouse. Because, like, aiming with a mouse on a first-person shooter is so much, like, faster-paced, higher fidelity than it is with a, a joystick. Because the joystick, you have to, like, physically watch the mm. uh, reticle move, or the mouse will just move it and it's there. That's why also Splatoon is so great, because the fucking motion control is, like, equivalent to that. You can just move it and it's there. Uh, there's no delay. So, like, for TF2, like, they released that on the orange box, which was, you know, on the Xbox 360 also, but they couldn't let the Xbox 360 TF2 servers link to the PC ones because it was just a slaughter. <laughs> it was just right. unfair. Yeah. Okay. That's also why, like, got all the ties. they introduced, like, that's... auto lock. No, you gotta. Uh, There's two factories. Right, and it doesn't actually care that much about the tie factory. Yeah. Okay, but let me just finish wrecking the buildings anyway. Yeah. Blow them all up. Oh! Thanks. Um. So you did that article about Portal last night. Versus that was yeah. such a. That was an excellent article. Portal, yeah. It you. Is, do you do you want to sum it up a little bit while? Yeah. I basically, the gist of it things. was that like Portal is a very feminist game, and it's not just feminist in that it's like oh it's about women, but it's like you know in that the characters are all women in Portal One. It's also very feminist in that like it is about like the the taking of bodily autonomy and like you know. GLaDOS is like the voice that women often have to deal with of like saying, oh, you're no good, you're too fat, you're, nobody will ever like you, you know. The, oh, the deep, uh, deep-rooted, internalized misogyny. Nice with that shuttle, Jesus Christ. Thank you. <laughs> That's just, just combusted. I'm a monster. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, 
I'm like I'm, so, I'm Darth Vader at the end of Rogue One, man. And, and fear me. And it'll I've be... killed hundreds of Time Lords. <laughs> fear me. I uh, killed all of them. Sorry, I'm just making random, <laughs> not helpful, references. not relevant references here. Uh, it gets hammered more to the point in uh, Portal Two, where like Carolyn, you know, is literally just like forced to become this machine, and she like gets revenge on the people who did that to her. Uh, and there's some unused dialogue from Portal 2 of Carolyn being like, I don't want this, you know? Mm. Um, which I, I understand why they took it out. Not only is it a little, like, fucking horrifying, but also, like, it, it lends a subtler touch where it's like, oh shit, what happened to fucking Carolyn, dude? Um, and, you know, like, GLaDOS generally, genuinely thinks, at least in Portal 1, that, like, she didn't do anything wrong. She was, she didn't... She, she calls you a murderer, you know, even though you're doing everything out of self-defense. It's Portal's a genius game, is what the article basically says. Which is an absolutely true statement. Yes. Um, Strongly and agree. I said this in a thread, but like, when, you know, and people already kind of think of this now, I'm saying it right now, but like, when the great grand history of video games is told, like, Portal will definitely be remembered as like, this fucking chain shit, you know? This made marked an era where, like, we could consider gaming storytelling in a way that had not been considered before to such an extent. Because it's 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 such a good game, short, sweet, and to the point. It never really wastes your time. Uh, Portal Two kind of wastes your time, but Portal One, it's just like, yep. Oh ah, shit! This sure. mission is hard. Okay. But I wrecked that walker. It sure did. There's one more. You gotta watch out for that ATAT because when you get to the ATAT factory, shit is gonna get fucking bad. Um, I think I, I think I got everything. Oh, oh no, there's one more. Oh, and there's some Tie Fighters. I also need to be worried about. Yes, there's ties. Okay, but I got all of the ground assault things. Yeah. Where's uh, where's my squadron? They're just flying around, having Here. fun, dicking around, you know, getting drinks, deciding. They're looking at like cat videos on YouTube, <laughs> letting the autopilot just kind of handle it. Let me uh, finish off this Tie Fighter before I go back to wreck all the buildings. It's weird because like Star Wars definitely has like go. a long distance communication network kind of thing. Like they don't really have an internet mm. as far as we know. They, uh, I mean, some expanded. I don't know yeah, what's yeah, canon yeah, yeah. now, because who the fuck knows what yeah, canon is now. But uh, uh, there, there is some like net stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Come like, on. there's, there's not like, you know, Leia didn't upload her distress message to YouTube. Right. She didn't like tweet Luke Skywalker, or Obi Wan, or anything. She was just, she sent it via manual media. Oh my God! They're shooting at me from the ground. That's adorable. Um, you know, I just imagine Luke just like in between training sessions with Yoda just like digging around watching like fucking people get hit in the balls on YouTube. <laughs> He's just like, it, ha! It, it helps my meditation. Yeah. I keep hitting, I keep uh, holding down on space when I need to be holding down on other things. Yeah. I gotta blow up all the shit. Yeah! For the Alliance! And like, you know, they, they never talk about like internet porno with fucking... Solo spending many nights in the Millennium Falcon cockpit or anything like that. Oh, that's sad. Um, that's upsetting to think about. I know, right? It's one of those things that you don't think about because the story doesn't need it. But uh, I'm having trouble shooting these uh, little little buttholes on I the ground. I remember Neil Gaiman them. was like asking about. I think for Sandman, he was asking about like porn in the DC universe or something like that, and some you know top exec from DC was like. There is no masturbation in the DC universe, and he was like, "That explains a lot about the DC universe." <laughs> <laughs> Look at everyone is just like, "Ah!" Gotta relieve these urges. Look at that last walker. I got one more walker. Let me pick up the small fry. It don't matter. They matter to me. <laughs> they swore allegiance to the Emperor, and so they must die. Unfortunately, I can't aim <laughs> down well enough to deal with them. The stormtroopers are no match for your turbo lasers. For my lasers. I don't think there are turbo lasers on a, a, a fucking speeder. Yeah. Not even okay. a starfighter. Here we go. 
Okay, you got the last Is that everything? Factor. 